Hello friends, I welcome you to my YouTube channel Maxium. So in this video we will solve a numerical problem which is based on the columns. Okay, so if you want to start column from the basic, then please go to our playlist and watch from the first video. In this video we will solve this numerical problem. So let's read and note down important parameters. Determine the crippling load of a T section of dimension 10 into 10 into 2 centimeter cube. So this is given the dimension of the t section is already given here and of length 5 meter okay so l is given as 5 meter okay now if if you see here everything is given in centimeter so and uh, here uh, it is given in mm this one is given given in mm so on this is given in centimeter and this is in meter so we have to convert everything into same unit okay so l is equal to 5 uh, meters so let's convert it to in mm so it will be equal to 5000 mm okay take young's modulus of elasticity e is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 5 newton per mm square okay so these things are given in the question and one more thing is when it is used that it start with both of its end hinge okay so both the ends are hinge means if it is like this then this one is hinge here and this end is also hinged okay so what is the importance of this end condition in this condition effective length l is equal to same as original length okay in Euler's formula okay which is equal to pi square e i upon l square h p so this original for this l effective so l effective will be similar to l same as l okay so we will use it later but for now if you know uh, this formula if you see this formula Euler's formula so it will become for this end case it will become p is equal to pi square e i upon l square okay so we have to just put the values in this and we have to find p okay because we have to find the filling load which is p but what are the unknowns in this formula see pi is constant e is known to us i we don't know and l is also known so we have to magnify the value of i okay so now if this is a column or a strut then it can bend like this sorry this is hinge at both ends so it will bend like this or it may bend like this in our plane vertical to our plane okay if we see rotate 90 degree then it will be like this so it can bend like this in xy plane or yz plane okay so in which direction it will bend what will be uh, decided by what it will be decided, decided by i so we will find i x x around x x axis and we will find also i y y axis so if i is strong then beam will not sorry column will not bend in that direction so column will bend or strut will bend in that direction where i i is minimum okay so we have to find i minimum it is either in x x axis around x x axis or around y y axis so how to find the moment of inertia of this section so suppose this is the origin suppose this is the origin okay o and from here we are calculating from here we are calculating distances from this point okay now if you see this section is symmetrical around y y axis okay around y y axis if see if you see it is symmetrical same portion is around both the it is mirror image about y y axis okay so it's a uh, centroid will lie on the y y axis somewhere here suppose because it will be on y y axis because it is symmetrical around y y axis now we have to find suppose it is x y x y x bar y bar okay suppose 
this is the centroid of this section so y bar is on this zero and we have to find x bar okay sorry x bar will become zero so we have to find y bar x bar will be zero because it is in the y axis so what will be the y bar so formula for y bar will be equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 divided by a1 plus a2 okay so suppose this is a section 1 this is section 1 this is section 2 and it is divided from here okay so for section 1 a1 is a1 is c this is 10 width is 10 and height is 2 10 into 2 is equal to 20 centimeter square what is y1 y1 is c what is y1 1 y is this a centroid will be somewhere here so it will be half of this 2 centimeter so it will be 1 centimeter plus this total length so how much is total length this is 10 and minus 2 8 so 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 see this is 10 mm 10 centimeter and this is 2 centimeter so this height is 8 centimeter and centroid of rectangle is at the midpoint mid height okay so mid height is 1 2 by 2 1 so it is 8 plus 1 9 okay similarly what is a2 what will be a2 a2 c for this this sex this rectangular portion width is 2 and uh, height is 8 it is 16 centimeter square and what is y2 centroid of this section will be half of this height so it is 8 by 2 so it will be 4 centimeter so we can find the y bar from here y bar will be a1 y1 so it is sent 20 into y1 is 9 plus a2 y2 is 16 into 4 okay divided by a1 plus a2 a1 is 20 plus a2 is 16 so from here if you will calculate you will get y bar is equal to 6.777 centimeter so this is centroid of this cross section x bar y bar is equal to 0 and 6.777 centimeter okay so this is our centroid now we will find i x x and i y y and uh, which will be minimum around which around that uh, cross section that axis the beam uh, the column will bend so what will be the i x x if it takes moment of energy around this x x axis so this is one cross section this is another this is first rectangle this is second so we will for rectangular as you know for rectangle i is equal to bh cube by 12 around the centroid and if a centroid is at distance d if there is one centroid of the whole figure and centroid of this rectangle then if distance between these two is d then its uh, moment of inertia will be around its moment of inertia of this rectangle around this point will be if distance vertical distance is d then i xx suppose this is x x axis plus area area of this rectangle into this distance square okay so this is formula for moment of inertia now let's remove this so for i x x will be equal to i of this cross section plus i of this cross section around centroid of this whole figure whole diagram 
okay whole cross section so i x x will be equal to b h q by 12 so for section 1 b is 10 width is 10 into height is 2 okay 2 q divided by 12 plus its area is 10 into ad square see ad square is what is the moment of inertia as i told you i is equal to i centroid plus area into distance square parallel axis theorem okay so 10 into 2 is area and distance of these two centroid is c this is how much 9 centimeter from here and this one is 6.77 so 9 minus 6.777 square this will be for first rectangular cross section and for second one it is equal to plus b h cube better so b is 2 into h is height is 8 cube by 12 plus area is 2 into 8 into distance is centroid of distance 6.777 minus this centroid is 8 by 2 which is 4 to the square okay so if you will try to find out this value then it will be Ten into two to the power cube divided by twelve. It will be six point six six seven plus this one will be ninety eight point eight three plus this one will become eighty five point three three plus one twenty three point three eight. So if you will calculate add all then you will get 314.22 centimeter to the power 4 so there is one playlist based on the centroid and calculating centroid movement of energy so if you are having difficulty in understanding this then you can go through the play playlist of centroid and movement of energy or in our channel okay so now i y y see what is the cross uh, yy this is the yy around this if we rotate this figure or if you take this as section axis and around which we are taking the moment of inertia then this will become width okay and this will become height so what will be the moment of inertia for first section it will become bs cube by 12 plus ad square for one and similarly plus p s cube by 12 plus a d square for second rectangle okay so what will be the b s cube by 12 for this case b is 2 and h is 10 so 2 into 10 to the power cube divided by 12 plus c its centroid will lie on y y axis and total figures centroid also on y y axis so difference between them is 0 so ad square is 0 plus for this for this rectangle second rectangle b is cube by 12 b is 8 into s is 2 q divided by 12 plus similarly their centroid in the same axis y axis so distance between centroid is 0 so this will become 166 point six seven plus five point three three so it will become one seventy two centimeter to the power four so if we see you will get that i x x is greater than i y y okay so i minimum so minimum i is equal to i y y which is equal to one seventy four centimeter to the power four which will be equal to 174 into 10 to the power 4 
एम एम टू दावर फोर ओके इफ यू नो इफ यू आर हैविंग डिफिकल्टी टू हाउ टू गेट दिस वैल्यू फ्रॉम यर लेट सी वन सेवेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर सेंटीमीटर वी कैन राइट सेंटीमीटर इन पावर फोर वी कैन राइट इज वन सेंटीमीटर इज इक्वल टू टेन एम एम सो टेन एम एम टू दावर फोर सो इट विल बिकम वन सेवेंटी फोर इंटू टेन टेन टू दावर फोर इंटू एम एम टू दावर फोर सो इट विल बिकम वन सेवेंटी फोर इंटू टेन टू दावर फोर एम एम पावर फोर ओके सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट so minimum i is i y y so bending will take place or buckling will take place around y y axis now what was the euler's formula euler's formula was p buckling is equal to pi square e i upon l equivalent effective length square but this was given that both the ends are hinged okay so or pinned okay so in this case l effective is Equal to L, okay. So P buckling will become pi square E I upon L square. So if you put all the values, then will become P buckling will be equal to pi square value of E. E is given as let's see in the question two into ten to the power five. Two into ten to the power five. Into I, we have calculated 174 into 10 to the power 4. Sorry, it was 172. Sorry for the mistake. This is 172 into 10 to the power 4 divided by L effective is how much was original length? L was five meter, as we have noted down. So we will write at five. So it is five meter. So it will convert into mm, then it will become five thousand to the square, and it will become. If you will calculate it, then you will get one three five point eight zero kilo newton. so this is buckling strength of this beam sorry this is strut or column or buckling or crippling okay so i hope you understood this problem if you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment section and uh, if you like this video then please share and subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching